2000 tournament. Upgraded from previous years and more prize money available for the players too. There's the view inside the Asiata Arena. And what a performance for Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Hikashino. Deshapan Sapsiri will be disappointed with how they that, let that one slip away. We've got women's doubles coming up next. Chen Ching Chen, Che Jie Fan, against last year's champions, Apriani Rahayu and CT Ramadanti. Well, this year, unseeded Rahayu and Ramadanti have come through two strong Korean pairings on their way to the semi final. Last year's champions have been tested and measured and shown their worth. And this time last year, this fixture with Chen and Jia was a quarter-final match. And the only time that they've beaten the Chinese pair in four meetings. So let's see who's going to come out on top today. Women's double semi finals Chen Jia Chen Jia Ying Fan China Apriani Rahayu Siti Fadia Silva Manahani Indonesia And now, please welcome Chen King Chen, Jia Ye Fan, China. Here come the Olympic silver medalists, the three times world champions in 17, 2021, and 22. Gold at the Asian Games, two times winners of the Asian Championships, twice world junior champions in world uh, women's doubles together. City Fadia Silva Ramar Dante. Not that many players out there on the circuit with as much gold as they've got, as many titles as they've got. Apriani Rahayu here, Olympic gold medalist, but with a different partner, Gracia Polly, who's now retired. And together with City Ramadanti won the Malaysian Open last year after beating this Chinese pair in the quarters. Setting up a great prospect for us today in the semi-finals. So the head-to-head -head for this one in a few moments is going to read 3-1. Good luck on the best. With China winning the last two meetings. Oh, red. That's like what it used to. But as I mentioned in that build up, Ramana received. That Chai one Silver. for the Indonesians was here inside the Asiata at this tournament last year. Steen, are you familiar with The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings and the dragon yes. called Smaug? I'm one of the um, few people in Denmark that hasn't seen any of Lord of the Rings series. Well, he sits on a huge pile of gold, and I hear that Chen Ting Chen is the only person in the world that he's jealous of, who arguably has got more gold than he has. 25 years old now, Chen Ting Chen from Guangdong in China. She's five foot five. And has most recently spent 12 weeks at world number one with Ji Yi Fan. But in total, they've spent over two years at world number one status throughout most of 2022 and since 2017. There is Ji Fan. She's 25 now. Feels like she's been playing a lot longer than that, but that's because we see them in the latter stages of the tournament so often, I think. She's 5'7 in height, the left-hander, and that's their tournament results this week. Gilles and Sainan in round one, straight games. Kasuma and Pratiwi in round two in just 31 minutes as well. And the Stoeva sisters yesterday, 17 and 17. They're in great form, it seems, this week. Here is Apriani Rahayu, the reigning Olympic gold medalist. 
with a former partner, 24 years old. Five foot four in height from Laulo, Sulawesi in Indonesia. Was ranked three with Polly in the world. Ranked 11, as you can see there, with her current partner, Siti Ramadanti, who is 22 from Bogor in Indonesia. And around the same height. Well, that round two game with Jung and Kim nearly clocked 80 minutes. As did a two-game match yesterday with Kim and Ready Tom to in the quarterfinals. So they've worked hard out here in the last couple of days. Our umpire for this one. Nguyen Pham Dui An from Vietnam, and he'll be supported by... First outing today for Lim Ho Huang from Malaysia, our service judge. So at 25 years of age, Steen, has anyone to your recollection won more titles in their career than Chen Ching Chen? Um, how many times did you say she won? 3,000? No, I'm not sure. Um, I don't have a... An, <laughs> I have to count them up, actually. I don't know, but it, it, the junior titles alone were impressive. And then, you know, they've won so many Super Series and World Tour finals uh, together with the majors. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Sydney, there'll Fadia be people watching Sifan, at home screaming. And Ariyani Rahayu with their own answers to that question, but... And on my think. left, Chen Yichun, Chen Yifan, China. The uh, very famous here in Malaysia, Li Chung Wei, has Fadia, definitely won Ramadani, more titles Lovell, than Chen Ching Chen. Play. But he's now... How old? I mean, had he done that by the time he was 25? I don't know. No, I don't think he had. Oh, keeping Chen in the rear of the court. Oh, she missed the backhand. After all that hard work. Service over. One. I don't love. think she expected that to come back. The pair seem to be looking Thomas to take Robert. that early initiative, happy to One. play these longer rallies. Oh. We saw, I'm not sure if it was yesterday, Steen, or the day before, Ramadanti and, um, and Rahayu playing the Koreans, and they won, <laughs> only in my opinion, because they were happy to step up in defence and take the forecourt on. That's not a luxury they're going to have today. Surely this Chinese pair are going to be looking to do the same thing. Yeah, but, but I think uh, that's the key again for the Indonesians. Two, that's how they did it um, last year. And um, it's not going to be easy. But um, that's great play. Good follow up by Chen Ching Chen. I don't know if she was the one who hit it, but um, she had. At least two. number two in line to kill it if oh. it was indeed um, Jai Yifan. I think it was Jai Yifan. I think so, but Chen was right there too. You know you've done something right when you get both players in that position at the end of a rally.
Oh. Retrieval. Yeah. Good shot. Retrieval. Well, I liked your comment earlier in the week where we were talking about players defending with purpose. So happy to defend, but not high lifts and clears to give your opponents time to pick you apart, but just defending with enough trajectory to force them off balance so that they can't really attack you with any danger. And it seems to be what both pairs here are trying to do. Only one cross slice variation in that rally. Brilliant from Jen and uh, Gio with the Over. anticipation. She came in early. Four. You can always hear that her partner's played a slow shot. She was standing right at the front court to finish. Well played, the Chinese pair to hold that attack. We played from Janet uh, Yufan and uh, uh, had the luxury of oh. um, watching a couple of their earlier meetings, and um, it has been one of the uh, possibilities to play past Janet Yufan at the net in her backhand side. But, uh, she's starting to. Uh, once in a while, I'll cover it, then um, it's much more difficult. So, great play. It's, not, it's a play that doesn't only affect that rally, it also affects the perception of what the possibilities are. And the Chinese looked really strong. Oh, brilliant to get from both the Chinese players, Zhang Fan, with the finish. Yeah, I absolutely agree, Steen. If you start looking for that one shot, then the options that the Indonesian pair will have are suddenly limited quite a lot. And that does nothing for their confidence. And how many rallies have we seen now with a grounded Indonesian after a net kill winner from either Chen or Jia? Haven't seen many clean winners for the Indonesian pair so far, so they're playing with a high level of conservatism. Ah! Oh. Error in defense. Yeah, but uh, yeah, over. Yeah, the forces discussion Six, for, on the Chinese five. side. Can't see it in the picture here, but uh, Chen Ching Chen is questioning the uh, shot placement from uh, Jia Yufan because she basically totally sold her out. Yeah. out. There you can see it. Went too wide, did she? Too much cross. Um, or not enough. Oh, yeah. One of those two things. Seven, five. Flick serve. 
and punished. Took a few shots. I Good. Takes a variation from Jay Fan. Ramadanti having to work very hard in defence. And he needs something special from that position. Chen into the game, they just kept that over on Jay Fan. Six. Eight. Seems to make the right decision so often. Can't always pull it off, but uh, she's a playmaker. Yeah. Her job when playing in the back court is to create openings for Jai Fan and then finish it off on the front court. She cannot make errors. She's got to be rock solid and she's got to have a lot of variations if the first two or three attempts are missing. It's Stop super over. important to be able to uh, direct the smashes Nine. where you want them in terms of um, placement at the body, left side, right side, in the middle, in between the two pairs and so on, because that's what the net player can use to uh, anticipate one of the possible shots. And that's what these players are so good at. They're so good at judging what can my opponents do from the pressure that we are applying. And at the moment, the Indonesians can't really get any pressure in their attack. Yeah, their defense is so good, both pairs, that neither is going to hit through you. No, no the, the Chinese defense is better than the Indonesians at the moment. Decisive, but got herself out of trouble. Ramadanti was only halfway Stop up the court when she went over the top. Ten, Easy to hit seven. the shuttle out of the back from there, and the longest rally so far. Yeah, she wasn't at the back line, was she? She no. was in front of the uh, first of the two tram lines. In the we should have attacked instead. Eleven, Julie found there. Seven in Encroaching on that net again, just by being there and looking so intimidating enough to put off the return shot. Rahayu taking it well below the tape of the net. Good shot from Chen. Four points the gap. Uh, this is one of the situations where had the Chinese pair been behind, we might have uh, noticed that uh, 
Chen Ching Chen was having her back to the coach the entire um, interval here. But now that they're ahead, we don't really notice it because, I mean, we hope that she's concentrated, but it's just so it shows that we look for explanations. Maybe they are there, but um, but we um, what we put our focus on tend to grow. Now the Indonesians they need to put the focus on something positive. Yeah. They're standing too far back in the defense. They don't get any counter-attacking possibilities. Oh, they're taking it so le low and yes. late because they're stood so far back. Have to be braver here. And perhaps uh, it's because there simply is too much quality in the uh, attack well, from uh, Chen and uh, Jia. But um, we would have to see that. They need to step forward because as it is now, they're just uh, sort of prolonging the inevitable. Meaning that they can save a number of attacks, but they're going to lose the rallies in the end after all. Good yeah. control by Jane Fan. They've got some history inside the Asiata of Chen and Jia. Oh, serve. Side to side, as I also think Jai Fan has moved really, really well, yeah. especially on the front court. Yeah. Yeah, they've taken uh, four Malaysian titles inside this arena two in the Malaysian Masters in 18 and 22, and won this open in 18 and 19. That's somewhere they obviously love to play. I don't have any recollection of his quarter-final last year between these two. Now the Indonesians, they, they played a brilliant match. Mm. But, uh, it's going to be interesting to see when they change ends, whether that can um, perhaps help the Indonesians a bit. I think that the um, Chinese pair is playing with the drift and should help their attack. Yeah, she read the flick serve, changing Chen. Oh! Oh! Nine, Anticipating that. Uh, it was going to be a challenge at the net. Yeah, the faintest of racket movements from Rahayu. That's all it takes from that position. Very little backswing. Good return of serve. Sub is over. 16 9. Yeah, they're coming together pretty well here. These two. Found working really well. Yeah, super from Jay Fan. Trying to set up her partner. They didn't allow Chen into the game, and Jay Fan just kept going. No 
confidence here below net tape on the Indonesian side at the moment. Great performance from the Chinese pair so far in this match. Well, 10 of the last 12 points for Chen and Jia. She has a chance to make an impact in the rally. And in a split second, it's over. Brilliant from the Chinese. And game point. Oh. Textbook stuff from Jai Fan and Chen Jing Chen. Very difficult for the Indonesians to do anything about how well the Chinese are playing. And as Steen said, perhaps the change of ends and the change of conditions can help have an impact on the outcome of this one. 21-9, the opening game. Like. in terms of uh, how to uh, tackle challenger seemed uh, oh, yeah, Ramadanti. What a shot from Chen. One oh, she, she rolled her ankle. I think she rolled her ankle. Yeah. Well, this would be a real shame for Ramadanti. Really outstretched. Didn't look too bad from those replays unless it was the early push off I don't know you can see there's some strapping underneath the uh, sock ah. um, it wasn't a, a regular roll it was more like um, the step sort of like get, turning the foot Forward.
and Rahayu there yeah, helping I think, to. I think that uh, strapping helped prevent a disaster. Hopefully it helped. Yep. Oh, you, you can see that she's in pain there. And the um, doctor pushed a certain spot. This is, uh, I think, she's going to retire. It's not looking good. The CT Ramadanti. Well, the ice spray is going on. Yeah, but this is where where they need to make, in my opinion, a um, a business decision. Say, okay, we are outplayed in the first game here. There's uh, at least two more tournaments to come. We're going into the Olympic qualification period. Ooh. So you're not sure exactly. It looked like the step in the middle. No, it's. That looks fine to me. It's the right leg, but almost like she jarred it by landing on it, pushing too yeah. hard on it or something. Yeah. I think she lands on the side of the forefoot. Metatarsals, perhaps, or something. Oh, she's putting her shoe back on in the background. It's been an absolute masterclass yeah. by Chen Ching Chen and Jie Fan. And that last shot from Chen just highlights how much confidence they're in. Flat cross court, almost punch clear. Caught everyone by surprise. Being helped to her feet by. No, this is not going. Oh, she's testing it out now. By no, the way. no, no, she's not testing it out. I think she's in tears. Yeah, that was. She's not moved. Down on the toes. There's some yeah. communication oh. with the coaches. I wonder why Apriani Rahayu is not uh, walking towards uh, Enkian and Rioni Manaki. I think they're going to give this a go, Steen. Their coaching staff are still sat in the corner. The mop is out on the court. No, they're, they're walking towards the coaches. This is not going to work. Well, I don't. If it's bad, I don't see the value in There's continuing. There's a bit of change in the okay. rules, Ready? so One. the referee no. can step in. It's not that they like. sh must step in, but they can step in if it's obvious that it's not beneficial for the player to continue. Well, I'm watching CT Ramadanti here. How well is she moving? No, it's not looking good. Taking baby steps on that right leg. Not getting very low. And, and the, the joint is warm now and so on. You don't know how it will react. Yeah. It's Ramadanti playing two against... Uh, it's <laughs> Rahayo playing two against one. And well, they're going to have to play like a mixed doubles format here with... Ramadanti staying in the forecourt to try and protect that right leg. But she's going to put out here. It's not going to work. No. It would be completely unreasonable to continue, in my opinion. Yeah. And the umpire is calling yeah. the referee. Look at the grimace on that shot. She didn't even need to move much. And sad scenes here. And CT Ramadanti in tears as she ends her 2023 campaign at the Malaysian Open. A difficult decision to make, Steen. Reigning champions, you want to try and give it your all, but that's, that is giving it her all. She, she did her best, she tried to continue. Support from her partner, Rahayu. And a, a wise decision 
If the pain is too much, she can't afford to create any long-term serious Next damage. Nevertheless, a masterclass from Ji Fan and Chen Ting Chen. It's actually really sweet to see her partner caring so much and trying to help. It's all over. They're taking the strapping off to see if there's been any more damage caused, I would imagine. It's a heavily strapped ankle. This is one of the situations where it's about getting out of the court, getting a doctor yeah. to uh, examine it thoroughly, not take any chances whatsoever. Sad to see with CT Ramadanti still in tears. Yeah, it's also the uh, disappointment of yeah. The emotional disappointment of not being able to play. This is what you play for, to play matches against some of the best in the world. Yeah. That's really Good nice. Gesture. Yeah. From yeah. Afriani Rahayu. And they are some of the best in the world themselves. Ramadanti well. and Rahayu, they're going to move up to uh, fifth in the world ranking following this uh, event here. The question now is how severe is the injury can she play next week in um, delhi and in india open or in two weeks on home soil in jakarta that's the question this is this is a situation where you you can't take any uh, light decisions yeah and it's a shame for chen jing chen and jerry fan to end the match the way they did but they were playing superbly They'll be ready for tomorrow's final. Yeah, and absolutely that. magnificent yeah. play by uh, the world number one to the world champions. And just need to find a, <laughs> a spot to uh, wheel the. Uh, that big round of applause is Ramadanti. Injured Ramadanti yeah. out of the court. So. Zhang Xuxian and Zheng Yu will contest the other semi-final with Baek Hana and Li Yu Lim. That's here in a couple of matches' time. And the winner of that one will face Chen Ching Chen and Jay Fan tomorrow in the final. We've got women's singles coming up for you next. Stay with us here.
Welcome back to Kuala Lumpur. Three of the world's top ten in terms of largest shopping malls in that picture. Going shopping for a place in the finals is our lineup of the world's best badminton players here in semi finals day at the Malaysia Open. Sad news is Siti Ramadanti had to retire with an ankle problem in the second game against Chen Chen and Jai Fan a few moments ago. So we've accelerated things through our schedule very slightly.